enjoy the game right click to necromance want to play it on your steam deck in this video I'll show you how So I'm going to show you how to install right click to necromance on your Steam Deck. This is not a Steam game um, and this is something that you uh, have to kind of uh, mess around with to get working a little bit. Um, I'm using a heroic launcher and if you're not familiar with it this is just kind of a fun little game that you might have seen some of your favorite YouTubers play uh, where you essentially just build your um, necromancer army uh, and it's pretty simple you can left click and hold to move your army and right click to necromance as you kill um, people. So we're going to go ahead and download this first. You can uh, pay some if you uh, have the funds to be able to help out the developer. Um, if not, you can just go straight to the downloads and then this will take you here where you'll download um, RCTN, right click to Necromance. So um, after you do that, I'm actually going to go back to this screen because in a minute I'm going to use one of these images. Like for example, I happen to like this image right here. Um, and so I'm going to open that in a new tab. And we'll come back to that here in just a little bit. So, let me see. Let's see if that gives us a better image or not. All right, we'll stick with the PNG one. All right, so I'm going to go into my downloads. And you can see right here I've got the right click to Necromant zip folder. So I'm going to go up to Extract and Extract Archive here, Auto Detect Subfolder. That will just extract it and put it in a new folder. So, and I should have said this at the beginning, but I highly recommend you use a keyboard and mouse for this. This can be kind of painful to do using the Steam Deck alone. So I've got mine hooked up through uh, Anchor Dock, um, and of course through an Elgato Stream Deck, uh, and keyboard and mouse and everything hooked up to it. So I'll put links in the description for everything from the game to the different pieces of hardware I'm using. So if you come down here, then... Uh, you can just go into it and you'll see there's the exe and the data now this data folder has to be with the exe in order for it to work so i initially tried just running it straight from here but that wouldn't work too well for me so what you want to do is you want to go and copy this folder and then we're going to put it in the heroic folder so um, if you don't have heroic you will need to go through that process um, i'll go ahead and show you real quick uh, there's a game here called, or a, an app here called Heroic Games Launcher. And you can just download that for free by going through uh, the uh, Discover Software Center here. I've already got it, but if you just search for it, you'll see it in here. It's an open source launcher. Uh, it actually works with your uh, Galaxy Games and Epic Games accounts. I highly recommend it uh, so that you can actually download games from those platforms as well instead of just using Steam. But in this case, I've already got mine hooked up. You can see some of my games I have in here. Um, I've even got it set up to run battle.net, which I might show you all at a later time as well. So once you get in here, you're going to want to add a game. Now, since I already know it's going to create a folder here, I'm going to go into my home. I'm going to look for um, games right here and then heroic. And it's already created some of these for other games I have, but there should be a prefixes folder. If not, you'll want to create that folder. And then I'm going to paste the folder for right click to Necromance into this folder. So this is your path right here if you just want to make sure you get a look at that. So I've got that in there. So now I'm going to open up Heroic Games Launcher and I'm going to click Add a Game. Now this can act a little quirky sometimes, that's just kind of how it is, um, which is another reason I recommend uh, using a external mouse and keyboard. So it's going to ask you for an app image here, and sorry I must have misspelled there. Alright, so by default it would try and pick up the game image but this isn't exactly a well-known game so you can't find the game image easily so what I do is I go here to this image that I got to earlier and remember you can really pick any of these images that you find and just right click and say open image and new tab so I like this image but I could use this one just so it's got the name and you're gonna go up here and you can hit control A 
up here and copy that whole thing. So you can hit Control C to copy or you can just right click and copy. And once you do that, you go back in here and you're just going to remove everything here and put in the actual path. So you can see right there, it's got this and it's showing the image from the website. Now that's cutting it off a little bit. So if you prefer to go with the uh, other image like uh, I, I had up there initially, then we can just change that over here. And there you go. So now we've got the new image. So you can leave most of this the same. Now you can see there's a wine prefix here. Um, I would point this to the RCTN. That's the folder we just created. So it's under games, heroic, prefixes, RCTN. You want to make sure this is pointing to the right folder. Now the folder could be named whatever you want, but I just did that to make it short. Uh, I found that I can't normally get it working with normal Proton. I've gotten it working with uh, the Lutris wine and I've gotten it working with Proton Experimental. So I'm going to choose Proton Experimental. And then here we're going to click and choose the executable and we're going to hit finish. So that should save it and at this point we should be able to run it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play here and let's see if this will start up. So the way to play this is you can use your um, uh, pad on the right side and it will move just like a mouse and then you can hit your top right trigger and it will basically do the moving. Now it looks like I'm going to lose immediately here so that's just kind of how it would go for a video I'm sure. So I'll just let them kill me right there. Of course that is ironic. So I'll click the button in order to play again and then click to start. And so now I can click and move around here. Now it's going to say right click to necromance, uh, right click to necromance, and you actually can do that with your right click here. Now you can also set this up to play uh, straight through the normal side where you normally play, and I found that it can be reversed there. Like if you're playing through the actual Steam launcher instead of the desktop here. Uh, but this does work here, so uh, we will need to go ahead and get out of the game. Well, I was going to see if I could die quickly. But I hit escape on my keyboard since I have one hooked up, and that's how you get out of the game. There's not a lot of controls here because of the way that it's done, um, just because it's kind of a quickly made game if, if you want to read any more on the website about it. But um, you can go into the settings here and... Uh, there's an option sorry not the settings you want to click on this here and you can go up here and say add to steam so this will automatically add it to steam for you so that you can see it um, over there on the main um, steam OS where you'd normally be playing games so once I um, get done here I'll log out and show you how it looks on the steam side uh, and show you which controller layout to use so that hopefully will teach you how to use this and uh, uh, I will try to do some additional videos on such as how to get battle.networking uh, but you can really get a lot of Windows based games working this way um, you just kinda have to tinker around with them uh, so <clears throat> that's how I do right click necromance and I'll be back in just a second uh, on the other side so that I can show you through how to actually use it